Hi folks, I'm Shubham and this is a quick demo of Keploy. So Keploy helps you generate test cases and mocks from your API calls. So you don't have to keep writing them over and over again. So to get started, we have a Docker Compose. So this helps us start the Keploy server locally. Once it's started, uh, we need to start integrating this to an application. So in this case, we have a sample URL shortener application. and uh, to start with the integration, all, all you need to do is initialize Keploy. We can provide the application name, the port, where Keploy can connect to the application, as well as uh, the config, you know, which, which Keploy server we're going to use. Um, in this example, we're using Jin as the router. So we have the Jin integration, which does the instrumentation automatically, as well as we're using MongoDB. So we have the MongoDB instrumentation as well. Um, if, if you're going to use any external uh, API calls through HTTP or RPC, uh, we have integrations for that as well, so do check that out. Now, once I have that sorted, I need to start my MongoDB server for my sample application. Yep, that's done. And can just start the application as, as usual. So, now that the application is started, just need to perform a few API calls. So, just, since this is URL shortener, I need, I need to provide a URL. And there we go. So, we have this shortened URL. Now, to get that back, just need to paste it here and here we have the google.com redirect so now when i go back to keploy and i refresh i can see that this you know sample url shortener and there are two test cases generated so now that i have a test case generate all i need to do is you know start testing so now here we have this go test integration just three lines of code and that's it so now to run this i'll stop my server again and run this along with coverage so I didn't have to write any uh, test cases manually, just perform the API calls and that's it. So, you know, Keploy ran the, uh, those, those uh, statements that were that, I mean, those tests which were generated and we have 77% coverage already. So didn't have to write any single line of code and we have 77% coverage in our test application. Um, to understand more, I can also go back to Keploy. So test runs, I can see there's this uh, test on which happened I can go into individual details of each test so here for example I could go here or I could go to the post here although the return is different Keploy is smart enough to understand that you know uh, this is a noisy field so it's using a hash so it's going to be different all the time so in fact if I go deeper I can see that body.url is a noisy field so it's automatically ignored so yeah that's a quick demo of Keploy thanks